First new at six, it was a meticulous day of cleaning at Tower Rock Elementary School in Sauk Prairie. It was closed because of a stomach bug that sent 77 students home yesterday. NBC 15 Sharon Yu shows us what the district is doing to sanitize the school before Monday. Several people showed up to school even before sunrise, not to learn, but to clean. The process has been actually going better than I thought. We uh, got a jump start on it. We had people who come in at 5.30 to get rolling. Now the staff here at Tower Rock are treating this as if it's the norovirus. They're preparing for the absolute worst case scenario, but that involves going over everything children may touch twice with bleach. A busy day for Lem Brzezinski and his cleaning crew, but after sending about one third of the student body home on Thursday, the school made a decision never made before. And we wanted everyone to be informed of the information. And that put us in a situation where we said we would close school. We made that announcement. A sick day per se for the school, so each nook and cranny can be cleaned. That means everything from faucets to gym floors to desks, anywhere little hands may go. We're doing some of this twice to make sure that we've got this, the key spots taken care of. So we want to make sure that Monday morning we've done everything we could possibly do to make it the best we could. An empty classroom may be an eerie sight at Tower Rock for a Friday afternoon, but this is mandatory if they want to see full classrooms again next week. When we did collaborate and have a professional conversation with Sauk County Health Services, we determined that that would be the most appropriate thing to do, and this would be our response. And Thompson says you can do your part as well. Because it's related to um, stomach illness, that if the children are showing any symptoms that are related to that type of distress, that we would ask them to care for their children at home, and then again, we welcome them back when school begins again. In Prairie Dusak, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. Uh, Thompson says they're still waiting to get lab results on what exactly the bug is. They're going to hear from Sauk County Health Services on Tuesday.